Robert Herting, congratulations with your win here in Lille. I think it's your first big international win in 2017. Uh, you're totally right, and it's um, the last win. I don't, I don't know how far it away. I think it's about 2014, something about this. Uh, really long distance for me. A lot of injuries, a lot of uh, yeah, bad moods at home, and hopefully I can uh, go ahead with uh, results like this. You kept going on even with the injuries um, and winning, is it a good feeling? Winning is the best feeling, right, but w winning uh, with, um, you know, with fulfilling your task is different from winning with lucky hand, you know what I mean? And today, um, yeah, I didn't could show what I wanted to be, um, and that's kind of, you know, that's why I'm not that happy. But for the team it's great and that's the most important thing here and yeah, looking forward to uh, to the next two weeks because uh, then we have German Championships and preparation for World Championships. 66-30 in the last attempt. You, you were leading and then in the third attempt uh, the Polish athlete came. Yeah, the Polish took it. That's a funny thing because uh, one colleague of him, uh, Piotr Malakowski, say hello, uh, told last year where he got second in the Olympic Games Everyone got a hard thing, but I got two. And now I can say everyone got a Polish and I got two because I also have to fight against both. Because you were in 2012 Olympic champion and then uh, last year it is your brother. Well, it can be in the family bad or not. Well, yeah, so gold stays in the family, so for me it's fine. For my parents it's fine too. So, yeah, that's it. And what did it do to the relationship between you and your brother? Uh, we have a difficult relationship. Nothing more to say. He always says that also, but there are no details. Yeah, no details, that's right. And I have to say to you, no details. In 2001, you participated at the World Youth. It's like 16 years ago. Uh, can't imagine how long it is. Uh, it was a really important moment for me because uh, that was the first time that you feel you can change something with your body and uh, with your hobby or with your with a passion to sport. You can change your life, you can change your life of your family. And uh, yeah, that was a very big moment for me. And uh, I kept on believing in it. And uh, uh, today I'm an Olympic champion, but I can look back at a very good career, I think. And the next year I finish, I quit. And then I have a look maybe from behind the camera. One more year to go. Uh, you have a lot of experience, Olympic champion, three times world champion, two times a European. Um, if we look at the ups and downs in, a, in an athlete, of, in a career of a top athlete, athlete, what would you say about that? It's a very wide question. Uh, for me, honestly, I say every athlete has to manage the task to win and has to manage the task to lose. And um, the managing uh, to lose, it's more difficult. And I'm actually in that uh, spot. So it's really completing my career and that's why I say losing is really close to the win and that's why both um, yeah, belongs together for a career of a big sports athlete. Yeah, when you were young you would uh, sometimes tear your shirts apart. Yeah, you were young. Hmm. Ah, just three years ago. Okay, thank you for that. Um, no, it's only, I only can rip it if I win. So if you see me ripping in London you know what happened.